Hi, hello, my name is Kat, and welcome to the coziest corner of the internet. Um, so today's gonna be a bit more of a chatty video, so I hope you guys are okay with that. Let me know in the comments if you prefer this kind of video, or you rather like the voiceover type stuff I normally do. But today I'm really excited to be talking about cozy games for PC. So just over a year ago, I started my Twitch channel, and originally I was streaming off a laptop that was definitely not made <laughs> for gaming. So I decided to upgrade to a custom-built gaming PC, and though I didn't really have any intention of actually gaming on it, now I actually find uh, PC gaming quite a big part of my life and specifically within the cozy game space where there are a lot of indie cozy games that just aren't on console but only on PC. So I'm hoping this video can kind of be a beginner's guide for anyone who is just getting started with PC gaming or who just hasn't really tried it out before or if you're just looking for some extra games to add to your list. On this list you'll find a lot of games inspired by Stardew Valley, farming simulators, that kind of thing, but also just some indies that I think are really really relaxing to play and that you can still cozy up to even if you're sitting at your desk. With the Steam Deck coming out too, it's a good time to start getting into PC gaming because soon we'll have a handheld version of all these games. Anyways, without further ado, grab your tea, grab your coffee, and let's get to the list. Okay, so first on the list is probably an obvious one and almost a cliche at this point, but it's Stardew Valley. I do also have this on Switch, and I do think this game is amazing on console, but there's something different about the PC version that I think is really special and definitely worth checking out. The main benefit of getting it on PC as well is you can mod the save you have on your PC game. So things like aesthetics, like making cute pink furniture or changing it into like a cute fall cozy cottage type deal or game mechanics, things like adding like a tractor or little UI things to help you when you're trying to find a marriage candidate. Honestly, the mods are endless and it's really, really useful. But mostly I think I just prefer the controls on PC. It's a bit easier to click on things and easier to kind of interact with things in the world with your mouse rather than kind of the touch stuff on Switch. But honestly, I have a year three farm on both my PC and my Switch save. So I spend a lot of hours on both. I think it's just like a different type of mood thing. Um, sometimes I'm in the mood for PC and sometimes I'm in the mood to play Stardew in bed for hours on end. Whether you've played Stardew before or you haven't played it before, I think this is a really good place to start entering into the cozy game space on PC. So if you haven't checked out Stardew before, definitely get it. And if you love it on Switch, I promise you you'll like it on PC as well. This next one on the list is actually a game I've only just started playing. It's Genshin Impact. I have been told to play Genshin a million times over because it's supposedly inspired by Breath of the Wild and I can totally see why. It's a huge open world with beautiful environments to roam around and meet new characters and it just kind of explore. I would definitely say it's kind of like a Breath of the Wild mixed with like an anime vibe and obviously there's like very different gameplay mechanics. So in Genshin you collect characters who you add to your party so you can interchange between them. They'll all have different abilities and different weapons that it really just depends on what kind of game you want to play. This game is definitely exactly what I needed when I was at the height of my Breath of the Wild obsession, so I definitely recommend it if you're missing the little kind of open world vibe of Breath of the Wild. It's also free to play and I'm honestly already obsessed with all my characters. It's just a really, really special game. The next game is a sequel to the much beloved cozy game, My Time at Sandrock. The sequel takes place in the desert with kind of a cowboy feel, but it's still just as cozy as the first one. There's way more crafting in this one and more stuff to collect around the world. I played the demo uh, not too long back and it was really, really good to just kind of get stuck in the world, meet the new characters that we have and realize that it is really taking that, that formula that worked well in the first one and kind of taking it to the next level. If you didn't play the first one, My Time at Porsche, I don't think that will affect whether or not you can play this one, but these games are essentially crafting and farming simulations you exist in a post-apocalyptic world in which you own a workshop and you're trying to kind of fulfill commissions from the town and the townspeople. It's really great if you love a farming simulator and you kind of vibe with that post-apocalyptic aesthetic. So the next game is Wildflowers, which actually isn't fully out yet, but I highly recommend you go check out the demo that's now on Steam. I actually played the demo here on YouTube, so definitely go check out that video. I'll leave a card up above. It just reminds me so much of the old school Harvest Moon games, and I can't get over how impressive the voice acting is. Literally every character in the game has a voice acting, whether you're just talking to them randomly or you're in a cutscene. It's also got a really interesting witchy vibe to it, which I only just discovered at the end of the demo, but I'm really excited to see how it plays out in the full version of the game. The farming and crafting mechanics are very similar to other games of a similar variety and I just really enjoyed kind of building my own little farm and seeing how much I could do just in the demo.
Okay, so I actually haven't played this one yet, but my friend recently bought it for me on Steam and I can't wait to get my hands on it. This next game is Planet Zoo and it's kind of a mix of like the roller coaster tycoon type management game, but with a zoo. Looks like you can upgrade and craft your zoo environments, take care of your animals and make sure that there's the best experience for your visitors. If you grew up on tycoon games like myself, you'll definitely want to check this one out. I've heard such good things from so many of my friends, so I'm sure it's a very, very cozy game. These types of games are definitely the type that I can just get sunk into for hours and hours on end, and I really hope that they do one day bring these to other consoles, but for now, definitely check it out on PC. This next one became my absolute hyperfixation this last month. It's Raft. As the title suggests, Raft is a survival game in which you have to craft your own life-saving raft and pretty much adventure around the open ocean. You can play on several different modes. So there's a peaceful mode that I'm very a big fan of <laughs> in which you can't be harmed by the animals you might encounter on islands or the shark that lives under your boat. I think the real cozy part of this game is actually just building out your raft. You can add a farm, you can add all sorts of nice decorations. It's quite a fun little management game. There's also an optional story part of this game, which I've only recently played with a few friends of mine, and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, we were so surprised by some of the little mysteries that we uncovered, and it's actually really funny as well. They've just released an update with the final chapter of the story mode, so I'd highly recommend you check it out. Uh, we can't wait to get our hands on it. And if you're looking for a game to play with friends, this one is great because it's got online co-op and I think it's up to eight people per raft. So it can be with a lot of friends if you want. Overall, if you like a survival game and you'd like the kind of cozy management thing, you're gonna love this one. Next on the list is probably another obvious one, but it's The Sims 4. I have been obsessed with The Sims since The Sims 1, back in the days when I'd have to go to my friend's house and play on her computer. So I literally could not wait when they announced The Sims 4. I know it's not everyone's favorite iteration of the game, but I really enjoy the elements that they've added and the extra customization. They've really focused on the story for this game and adding more things like challenges and moodlets and all these things that kind of make your characters come more to life. Obviously The Sims can get quite expensive, so I think the benefit of having it on PC rather than on console is that you can get custom content and mods. If you play Sims for more of the aesthetic reasons, you can get so much custom content out there that you can download right into your game. The mods also can add so many interesting things like extra mood lids, different story elements, even other characters. So if you haven't played Sims on PC yet, or you haven't played Sims at all, definitely check it out. The Sims 4 is honestly a really good addition to the series. Next on the list is Garden Paws. Garden Paws is a farming simulator game that you can definitely see has taken inspiration from Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley. You play as a little animal villager which you can customize and you have to kind of do some quests for people in the town and then adventure around the area. The really interesting thing about this game is it has Twitch integration, so if you're a Twitch streamer, I definitely recommend that you check this game out. Your chat can become villagers that will then shop at your store, which is just very adorable, and they can do little moodlets and little dances and things. I highly recommend you check it out. It's a really cute and fun game, so I highly recommend it. Another game that I got very hyper fixated with, it's Power Wash Simulator. I know this might seem like not the coziest game at first, but I promise you it's one of the most relaxing games I've played of all time. There's something about watching all this dirt come off of the little house that you're cleaning or the yard that just feels very satisfying. And if you kind of like that type of game that you can just like watch a TV show while you're doing it or listen to a podcast, I highly recommend this game. I tend to blast music while I play with some friends. So if you'd like also a co-op game to play with a few of your friends, this one's great. You can play with up to six people, I believe, in one job and all work together to clean the area. A few of my friends and I have recently started racing each other to see which team can finish quicker. So it's really, really fun. And it is both relaxing and a great way to just chat with some friends while you're doing other things. So again, if you like kind of the relaxing, chill vibes and you're just looking for something to kind of occupy your brain, I'd highly recommend Power Wash Simulator. Last one on the list is a game I actually originally played on my flatmate's Xbox, but have since downloaded on my computer. It's Forager. Also available on Game Pass, this game is all about expanding your little empire from one little island to another. You have several different paths and you unlock them when you skill up. So you can either do kind of a witchy route or more of an industrial route, or just like focus on farming and expanding your little house. It can be very fast paced, which I actually really enjoy because it ends up meaning that I just spend hours and hours trying to like focus <laughs> on this game, but it's really, really cute. And there's like so many different things to explore and find. I feel like I still haven't even like cracked the surface of this game because I haven't really gotten much farther than like five squares or something, but it's so, so fun. And I highly recommend it if you like crafting farming type games. Your world is also randomly generated. So it's gonna be slightly different every time you play, which means it's kind of endlessly replayable. 
Anyways, that's it for the list of cozy games for PC. Let me know in the comments, have you played any of these? Did I miss any that you really love? And are you kind of a PC gamer or more of a console person? Let me know. And if you've enjoyed yourself so far, I'd love it if you could please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to hear of more content. It really means the world to me and it's a great way to support me and my content. And if you want to come hang out, have some cozy chill chats while we play some games, I stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash cozygamercat. Come on over and say hi and let me know you came from YouTube. Anyways, I hope you have the coziest day and I'll see you next time.